Hey everyone, welcome back. Tech here with our continuing Let's Play for Croatia on Crusader Kings 2. And real quickly, um, the last four videos, I, I want to apologize for how I did it in the last video. I did say it in the comments, but um, a few people um, I know don't always see all the comments. A few people were kind of puzzled why I ended the video when I still had like a basically a rebel uprising down here in... Uh, I guess that's Turn Turnu, and then I'm also actually still technically at war with um, Ungvar here, I believe it is. So part of the reason was was when I recorded that those last series, the last four episodes were recorded all together in one sitting, and I knew that I was going to be stretching. That war took quite a while, and I knew it was going to stretch over several episodes. So I really kind of wanted to try to get a good stopping point. And so that's kind of why as soon as the war ended, I kind of wanted to hurry up and stop the video right there. So I do apologize. Um, we are going to try to clean this up a little bit. We have several things we need to do now. As you guys can see, we're doing really well. Croatia is now a, a pretty sizable area. I mean, we go... Um, you know, all the way over, I mean, we, we have a pretty large stretch of area here. Um, we have some things we need to resolve. We need to resolve these battles. Then we need to kind of go around and start concentrating on some internal items. And uh, doing some infrastructure building um, and various things like that. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to need, the first thing I need to do is I need to get the fighting ended. So we need to take care of that first. So let's That's going to be about 1600 Let's pull them all into there real quick. Let's do that first. Let's just raise our own troops prior to if, it, if we can handle it with our own troops, that's the better, without me having to pay uh, or deal with the um, vassal levies and, and whatnot. So let's go ahead and try to do that. Okay, what the heck. some serious rebelling going on here. Let's see how this shakes out. My son Justin has a tender and loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle. I fear he will get hurt someday. Um, hmm. So this is who I need to get. Alright, so let's see how this works out. Okay. Um, so yeah, what's going on here is... Uh, this chick here was still at war with me. Um, so I need to beat her. taking way too long, so...
your wisdom is really legendary. We propose that King Boleslaw the Third of Poland and Princess Sofia is married. Um, Poland, who's a shell of what they used to be right now. They've been having some serious. Man, they're they're in the middle of. I mean, they're in the middle of a bunch of nonsense right now. I'm gonna decline that one. I don't need to get in the middle of that. So. Okay. Alright, this group. Actually, I need to get them away from that group. Okay, the Crusade for Jerusalem. God, it seems, does not favor the Christian faithful. After a string of defeats and setbacks, Pope Valentin II has called off the Crusade for Jerusalem against the Caliph Walid I. Okay. those together and then let's try to grab this guy that's almost finished up there and then we'll move up there and try to finish those off serious rebellion man Uh, let's see, the good burgers of... Okay, are they able to pay their taxes? Our coffers are empty. I humbly ask that you lower the taxes for your city. Um, uh, let's see. Um, just delay it. We do have it up to 61% already, and we haven't turned the capital yet, so maybe when that capital turns, that'll be the be enough. I don't know. Yeah, marry this wine master. Make him happy. That sounds good. Or actually, let's go back and get the capital there. And Lucas says, tender and loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle. That's the same one we had a little while ago, wasn't it? Okay. Alright, I captured some fairly serious people there. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, pause. To the great King Ash the First, blessings upon your house. We propose the following peace offer. She loses 150 prestige. Um, she's imprisoned, and I gain 100 prestige. Except. Okay, now let's take a look at what's going on. All right, we're back to where we were. We have. Okay, those need to go away. 
Okay. I just kind of sped it up there because it was paused with them still fighting. Um, okay, what's the deal here? Okay, she will not take vassalization right now. However, based on my power in... Hmm. If I bribe her, that might... Yep. There we go. That's all we needed to do for that. In case you missed that, I did it kind of quick there. She was an independent, and she recognized my power, but she didn't... You know, I was a foreign, you know, foreign nation and all that my opinion she kind of liked me but not a lot and by me bribing her i was able to make her like me enough to where it she gave in so we clean that up we don't have that one thing in the middle of our country anymore um all right so we still have some serious issues up here to get resolved but at least we did get that cleaned up so that's pretty good <laughs> um let's go ahead and dismiss troops um, we still have Bella to take care of at some point here um, and we have I can oh yes there we go um, Nobody will care. So I have a 58% chance of... Got him. Alright, so we locked him up. Okay, so... Uh, I guess we could actually, couldn't we, um... If we really wanted to get rid of him. Oh, look at all these prisoners we got. Let's sell all these other ones back afterwards. Ooh, wait a minute. No, I do not want to get rid of her. Ooh, that was almost mis that was the chick who did the who did the um the re was the revolt basically. So she's staying in there. Bella and her are staying in there. This guy, we'll go ahead and let him out. And who else? This guy here. We'll go ahead and let him. Oh. Nope, can't do that because he's for her. Okay, got it. How about him? Okay, yeah, we'll let him out. So that should... Let's just let it run for a quick second here. Another one should be right behind it. Alright, so pause it again. So right now we have Bella who can rot in there as far as I'm concerned. Uh, her, Sisla, who was the one leading the revolt, so I'm not going to let her out. And this guy who worked for her. So they can hang out in there. And I can cancel this... Um, I can actually cancel that. Because he... Um, He's going to die in there anyway. So that's fine. Which actually, well, you know, somebody, somebody may tell me if that was a mistake there. I guess I could have left it, and then if he died, I would have completed the plot. So actually, I guess that was sort of a mistake, wasn't it? I'm not sure what you, I would have gotten out of that. Um, what's this? Revoke Duchy of Slovakia. Hmm, okay. Well, hold on, let me get back to what I was working on before real quick. We'll get to that in a minute. Um... I don't 
mess with that. Alright, wait, is everything in the plus? Yeah, okay, we're all in the plus and all that. And actually, the notifications all went away, didn't they? I just noticed that. Oh, because it was a revolt risk towards him, and then the imprisoned thing on him. So that was the, um, that was the thing. Okay, let's take a look. There's actually an overlay for revolt risk. So let's take a look. Where's it at? Revolt risk. Really? Alright, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I guess there is no revolt risk. It's all... It was all green. Um, and then... Alright, so... Right. See, so we're partially in Bulgaria here. So you can see how we kind of... When you look here and you look at the um, de jure kingdoms, see, we kind of, we got a tip of Serbia and into Bulgaria here, kind of. So, okay. And Bohemia. Okay, I was going to say, we should be in good shape with him. Man, look at my daughter. Looks just like grandmother. <laughs> um... So she's in line to, or no, no, she's not, because this guy is. All right, whatever. Um, and Poland, what is going on? Anything else interesting? Italy. Yeah. Holy Roman got that taken care of. Ooh, it looks like France is kind of bouncing back. Oh, it looks like England finally kind of unified or whatever, didn't they? Because they were having some... Um, some serious issues there for a while. And it looks like France is finally sorting stuff out. Alright. Well, definitely, we're moving along pretty good. So, really, some of the things i got to do next, and we will look at them. So let's look at the laws real quick and see what's going on. Okay. Lucas is definitely the heir. There's no questions on that. Um, is, let me look at our main vassals. Okay, the two that don't like me are in prison. Excellent. <laughs> um, and allies, same dynasty. Okay, look, and so we have, we do have Bohemia here, King of Bohemia, as a ally. Okay, so that's good. All right, so yeah, we're looking we're looking pretty good at this point. So, in the next episodes um, here coming up, we will be basically cleaning up some more, um, going through doing some more infrastructure building. We're up to 531 now, and our money is clicking along pretty decently. We need to do some um, infrastructure building in the counties that it Ash holds, which are mainly all these right over here. It's kind of like. Um, not those, but, well, he has Usora. So it's like, it's like Usora. It's like right through here. It's like these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like those ones right there. So we're going to do some serious building in those coming up soon. And I think for a little while, we're just going to really try to hold on to what we have. And try to kind of build up our infrastructure. Hold on to what we have. Maybe get a couple allies here and there. Um, the only military thing I would like to do is I would like to eventually finally get this. Um, let's see. I think even if I bribed him, it would not be enough, really. Well, it would be close. It's worth a try at 22. No, it's still not quite enough. So we're just going to have to keep working on that guy. So... Anyway, we're moving along pretty good.